So this is my, uh, one of my clients' most recent uh, acquisition. Um, fully restored 1955 Corvette NCRS top flight winner. I believe this was bought in Florida as well because when the uh, um, transport truck brought it, I think they picked it up somewhere in uh, you know, Northeast Florida. Anyway, my client picked it up. Like I said, uh, pretty much I'm no restoration expert, but being a top flight winner, I would say this was a pretty close to perfectly restored um, vehicle. But sadly, as is so often the case, the car came in with less than um, stellar paint um, quality. And now I don't, I don't expect the 1955 Corvette to be um, painted to perfection because I think a lot of times when these restorations are done, they are being kept true to it, the original form. So in 1955, paint was far from perfect. So I'm assuming that often the uh, restorers will pretty much duplicate what the paint would have looked like back then. Even though I think this paint job looks better than I'm, I'm assuming it was in 1955, but it's still not uh, perfect. But what I am talking about the way the car came in, not about the paint quality as far as body work and uh, you know the, the way the, paint, the car was painted. I'm talking about the amount of swirls that were all over the paint. I mean, from front to back, the car was just riddled in swirls and some deeper scratches. So that can always be uh, restored. That I don't think, even if a car was painted to replicate what it looked like back in its day, swirls should still not be part of that. At least, that's just my opinion. So what I did was do a paint correction, remove all the swirls, remove as many of the imperfections as possible. Some scratches were a little bit too deep. There are also sanding scratches underneath the paint so that is just part of the uh, you know the body work and the paint job that was done so those are still present but after I did my paint correction um, the car was then ceramic coated so now you know it's it's the paint has much much better protection on it even though I don't think this is a car that will be driven maybe very little Maybe not at all, I'm not sure, but you know, I'm pretty sure this car was bought for, you know, um, for its collector's value. But the car pretty much looks perfect to me. I don't think any car actually is 100% perfect, but you know, without being an expert, once again, this to me looks to be just about as close as you can get. I mean, the thing is just beautiful. And um, I'll try to combine the before video I took. Even though that video, I think, was taken on outside in the sun. So what I'll do is, you know, take an additional after video in the sun and then combine the before and the after. So the, um, the comparison will be equal instead of doing one inside one outside I mean you can see how amazingly glossy this paint looks now and I'm sure the true Corvette purist and enthusiast should quite appreciate this car. So if there's anybody out there that has a restored vet or whatever have you, um, and mechanically it's, it's pretty much done close to perfection, but the paint is not where it should be, you know, you can always reach out to me and talk about having the paint corrected and brought up to the level that you see this one is and have the, uh, you know, the restored car look the way I think they all should look. Whether you go with a paint, uh, ceramic coating or not, a paint correction, I think, which is absolutely necessary and truly does wonders and makes any car of any caliber look so much better and takes it up just a few notches of what it already is.